blinded. She didn't miss old. She was blinded, so there you go. Dodge Q. Get hit by E. Calm it. Get hit by Luxar. Barely survive on 14 HP. It's gonna be fun. She's blinded. Froze R. I dodge down. As I anticipated her throwing the R this way, so I went down. I barely dodged it. I'm kiting her. Look at this. It's perfect. Tails or Q. As soon as I see that, I have heavier. I have vision of her. E. Just make sure. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another Queen Top. Today we are playing versus. Let's go, Fog of War. No. We go, okay. we go, Red. We are. We are in waiting. Oh, they see us. Okay. I E and just. Kane box out for some reason. <laughs> I'm like, why don't you go in? They free form for you. Orbs and stuff like that. Anyways, that's beside the point. This game, I'm running PTA. Presence of Mind. Alacrity. Cut down. And. Scorch plus absolute focus. Oh yeah, this was like, what the fuck is this? This this is insane. What the cheese this is like? Holy Jesus! Scion players is just drives me nuts. Anyways, this game I will absolutely destroy two million. Oh yeah, she thinks she can cheese me. It's not gonna happen, brother. Anyways. 2 million points Riven OTP. I don't think she's OTP, but she has 2 million points on uh, Riven. Anyways. I get my PTA. The Scorch does insane amount of damage. She's just burning. It's insane. She's like half HP. She's forced to burn out a pot already. Let's see. She's out of pots. Auto. 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 I thought she would... Flash, but she did not, so I wasted my flash. I did not need to flash one bit. I was in range to auto. Anyways, I need to recall and get my lead. I push in the wave just in time. You guys know the deal. I buy my uh, uh, Kirik shard or whatever, which is super nice rush. I really like it. Waiting for the third Q. Cancel this third Q, get my PTA and back off. Pretty simple, right? I got some damage on me, which is fine. She stunned me after all. Uh, I didn't miss my count. Yes! Good job by me. She's trying to push it in, but I'm like, bro, you don't want to push in. She goes for the minions. I'm gonna trade in, even though there's a huge ass wave, which I decide against it, but if she walks up too far enough, this minion, I should look to punish that. But I do not, huh? I didn't get that minion. And I'm like, let me get these minions first before you go in. And now I can move. One minion? Cool. Let's have some brawl in my jungle. Put a ward. Don't get stunned into the wall, hopefully. Yeah, and they back off. Pretty simple stuff. Get the vision of the poppy. She's going to the scuttle. Now she ganks me, and this ward will be useful? Or am I too... Focused on harassing the ribbon. I got my cannon. Nice stuff. If she walks up for the cannon, I get a nice trade in. Proc PTA. Get the stuff. Don't go too aggressive. Poppy was topside. Kane is showing mid. And I get focused on Poppy. And I die. There you go. So I think this war was a mistake, but I can't face check it. I can't face check it and follow them. So, I think I should W here and put the ward here. That's what happened. That's what was wrong about that play. Because I see him, but I'm too focused on harassing Riven first. Secondly, I'm just blind. Because you're diverting your attention to the harassing and you don't look at the map, right? My attention diverts to spacing plus harass and lastly. To less looking at the map. 
Anyways, Poppy was top. She surely doesn't come back, right, guys? She surely. Now, I wish this point I recorded it because I being you guys, if, as as you guys know, if you guys don't know, I auto attack with A button instead of my mouse. Instead of hovering like this, I just use the A button and just closest proximity gets auto hit, right? Under tower, I've been using the champions only button and it's it's been helping me a lot. Of course, I'm not used to as so it means that my Q accuracy and minions and stuff like that. Look at that! She's under tower. And she's like so low already. Oof! It's insane. So attacks tar uh, target only is quite helpful under tower. It's just maybe next game when I record properly, you guys can see my mu uh, mouse mouse button, my cursor like this. This is targets champions only, and I just right click with, on the champion. So if it bursts because I'm not a, not that accurate. So I ping on the way, Pantheon ults behind uh, Scion. He thinks he can get away, but at this point he gives up and goes for the... <laughs> yeah, they're not happy with Scion, sadly. This game he's gonna int a lot. Even though he's inting, it's Bao's inting strategy. It's super painful to play against. I go top, I cancel my auto here. I just... Heavy Remark goes on, but I just don't auto him. Like, what is going on? It's just my mistake. Look at that. I cancel out also again. Heavier propped. I mean heavier marked. And I didn't proc the heavier. I'm just missing free damage. It's bad by me. Like I missed the heavier auto. I missed another heavier heavier auto. It's just ton of damage. How much does that? So 213 damage from heavier plus 135. It's like a lot of a lot of HP. 300 600 HP of a ribbon that I could have shaved off right now. So she could have been like, uh, probably after armor is more like 400. So she would have been 400 HP. But no, I missed my chance. So I'm pushing, pushing, pushing. This is super aggressive. You really need to hone in your avoiding ganks and wards and stuff like that. Don't push up without ward. I go for a plate. She tries to go in. I proc my PTA. She's 700 HP, of course she got Doran's shield, so... But still hurts. I'm up full HP. I'm cool, I'm chilling. I think Poppy goes for another. I see him on the ward, and I'm like... Not again. Piss off, moron. I'm trying to get behind her. I need to flash before she does that, yeah. I was trying to go behind her, but she has phase rush. Where do I see phase rush? Phase rush? Poppy, Poppy. Oh, here's the phase rush. She has phase rush, so she wouldn't let me go behind her. Kane just... she couldn't make his mind to counter the gank or not. So, in the meanwhile, we just watch what's going on a bit. He lives. I get a kill. It's not too worth. Shut down on the Samira. Samira goes mad about <laughs> Senna and... Tells her to bait herself. And I think I ping Riven just about now. Where's my pings? Come on, I remember doing it. Is it after cleaning? Cleaning the wave? My pings? Am I that bad? Come on. I know for sure Riven is there. No? Nope, I guess I don't. Oof, Summer is mad. I get another plate. I got two plates, one kill worth. We see Poppy. So here's what we do. So I have Storm Razor Rush. I don't have boots. You're gonna see. You, you guys think I die, right? Storm Razor. 45% movement speed. Let's see. Poppy has boots. Riven has boots. And see who gets away. Look at that movement speed, man. That is disgusting. <laughs> I E proc my heavier. I almost two v one. Look at that. Do I have E up? Did I have E up? I'm not sure. But I go for one for two. 
I mean, one for one in a 2v1, which is fine. Which is great, whenever you're behind and getting ganked, if you get any kills in return, it is always a plus for your team, because they sp spend time to gank you, and if they are not successful or they get something else, if I get something else for it, it is not as good. So, my build is to kite Riven. It's not for the Scion. At the start of the game, I told Pantheon, I'm good into either Riven or Scion, but for Scion, I need Bork. So, are you gonna deal with Scion at all times? And he said yes. And yet, here I am. He's not on his promise. And me trying to deal with Scion. Of course, he holds him, so. We get him. Nothing goes on. We go for a little pushy push. Push, 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 push. Which is nice. We go for Scion once again. Oh, yeah. I forgot about this. I actually remember it now. So, we see Jin rotating over to Scion. Kind of moved again. Too fast again. Auto, auto. This does insane amounts of for squishies too, so early game, Stone Razor damage is nothing to scoff at. I really love the amount of damage. Look at this! 675 damage to champions. 130 bonus damage. It's just insane. It has insane burst. This is really good for uh assassins too. But at assassins I'd rather go for more damage than the then they're going to Storm Razor and shit like that. Storm Razor utility for kiting, right? With this, you don't get caught by uh, ghost abusers. <laughs> I say ghost abusers because they run you down from here to all the way down here and they catch up eventually, right? But with Storm Razor, I legit ran Udyr from all the way here to my tower safely without getting destroyed. Of course, with E's and heaviers and Storm Razor marks, so don't forget that. It's not that I'm amazing, it's just Storm Mazer that that good. Once again, Pantheon not dealing with freaking Sion. Look how pathetic damage I do against tanks. Now, if it was early and I was destroying the Sion, it's a different story, but he's scaled, so... I think I die, which is hilarious. I die to minions, right? Oh, actually I live! I barely... Oh, I remember this! So I'm not gonna spoil it, some, some stuff happened. Barely. I think it, it's because of the Storm Razor proc. I think so. Let me see that one more time. Oh, that's, that's too far. Sorry, I messed that up. Normal speed. I actually have heavier speed, so that's what's going on. Okay. Up on I recall W. I got my I'm going Lord Dominix for freaking Scion. I ping on the way, we go for a Scion. We tram man three man's his ass, shut him down. Make sure he doesn't get towers. Pretty good. I go for more farm. Also, Storm Razor really good against Towers too. I really like it. So at this point, I was thinking about Scion because he's gonna push right. I get slowed because of the Gen Trap. Dodge some, bait out some enemy uh, abilities like Lux, Lux Bind and stuff like that, and I just do so much damage. It's like as if I'm building assassins. Just that's how much damage I do with Storm Razor, and it's insane. The poopy. Puppy is puppy. I've done this again, I didn't I? They're chasing Riven basically. It's good. <laughs> Riven mobile as ever. But I've ran down this Riven many times and he has no outplay potential. He didn't dodge the Scion Q like what? He goes in, but I am respawning, brother. Get the stuff. You know the deal. Get my kill. 
Don't get hit. I got my Lord Dominix. And I'm going for Triforce. Here, here is the thing. Um, I'm building Triforce. If Lux Q's ult me. If Poppy gets on top of me, he doesn't wash up me. If Riven gets on top of me, this is why I'm building Triforce. I'm not building for Scion. But in reality, this time around, I should have delayed my Triforce with just buying HP and just going into Bork. That's what I should have done. Because you guys are gonna see as game progresses a little bit, Scion becomes an issue and Pantheon does not deal with him. And I get soul killed by Scion because I don't have Bork. So I should have built for Scion every time. That way he would have no autoplay potential. Lux just gets spotted by Pantheon. If guys see none. At this point, I tell him, like, I love you because we were thinking the same thing. I was picking here, he was looking here, and we saw locks here, and I just got over the wall. You know the deal. Poopy. We drill into Poppy. I'm curious, does Poppy have any magic resistance? Lots of times, tanks go full, like how much armor they have. Look at this. Armor, 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 armor. So Storm Razor goes through some damage. Look at this, 120... 1200 or 300 damage. It's, it's quite nice. It's It bursts tanks down, which surprises them. <laughs> Jin pings me. Do I get. Do I catch Poppy? No, I don't. So, Pantheon goes for Scion this time. By the way, a lot of time. I don't look at. I just look at the map instead of looking at my screen. So, currently, I'm on autopilot. I'm farming. Without doing anything, and I'm just watching Scion and Pantheon on the minimap. <laughs> I remember that she didn't miss ult, she was blinded, so there you go. Dodge Q, get hit by E, Comet, get hit by Luxar, barely survive on 14 HP. It's gonna be fun. She's blinded, froze R, I dodge down. As I anticipated her throwing the R this way, so I went down. I barely dodged it. I'm kiting her. Look at this. It's perfect. Chails her Q. As soon as I see that, I have heavier. I have vision of her. E. Just make sure. Yeah. Make sure she doesn't W stun me, so I just tether her back a little bit. As soon as I, I see her E forward, I know she doesn't have gap close. Her Q's on cooldown. I'm good to go. And at 14 HP, I outplay the Riven. It's one of my best moments. Lux gets too close to the wall. And we just snipe him over the wall. Of course, as soon as I heard Scion ult, I know it's coming for me. Because I have bo uh, bounty, right? I have 700 bounty. So as soon as I heard it, I just moved away from the bot tower. Because I know Scion is ulting for us. Kane dies. Can't be held. Ghost, uh, Scion Ghosts, so some summoner is used. I got my Bork? No, I got my Trinity Force, yeah. You guys gonna see how little damage I do versus Scion. Because I went for Trinity Force. Let's watch this. Trinity Force, super broken, right? <laughs> Trinity Force is, uh, Trinity Force is survivability, not so damage, right? Here I'm 1v1 on tank. She does, he does big damage. I'm half HP. Auto, auto, auto. I'm trying to run her down. Run, run him down. I'm too low. He's just too tanky. Look at this. That happened because I have Trinity Force. And not Blade of the Ruin Kick. So... <sighs> Sometimes, I, at, at this point, I should have realized Riven doesn't kill me. I kite her too much. So, I should have just went Bork. Now, that being said, Trinity Force saved my life. Well, I guess HP saved my life because I didn't have Trinity Force before. So there you go. Pretty simple stuff. I get Reborn. Let's go on myself. We're looking at VC some stuff. Kane being the fair champion that he is, as always. Let's go on myself, yeah? I'm just 
digging into Poppy. She has how many armor? She has four armor items. She's full armor. Because we are all AD, which makes sense, you know? With Sand would be good this game, but I think Bork is more crucial because I just need to deal with Sion at all points. I get on, Kane being weird. I died to the Baron, of course. Even if Jin didn't get me, Baron is just gonna kill me. There you go. I wonder who else is smart. She's dumb for going Ionian. Go play that. Everybody's AD. The entire team is AD. Because, by the way, team wanted to dodge it. Dodges because we're all AD, right? It's solo queue. Sion gets away. I'm waiting for my respawn. We go double. At this point, I get a little bit angry. Because we're four dragons. Get the soul point, right? But it does work out properly. But at some games, the enemy jungler might just sneak the dragon. Like, what are we doing? But that's besides the point. That's just me complaining on the sideline, right? My foot is starting to hurt. I should be done with this recording. Holy shit. My voice card. Fucking Scion. Just run, you know. I hate Scion. I get my Bork. Do I get my Bork? No, I don't. I'm building my Bork. I'm making sure this wave is pushed out so Scion doesn't TP. Whoa, 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 whoa. So, me and Kane notice this luck, so we're both on the way. So, she gets caught. Now he KS's, so. Uh, I'm going back up for Scion, making sure waves are pushed. Let's go back to me. Making sure Scion doesn't get the TP. Being the nuisance that he is. You see Scion mid? Our team is so far ahead, they should be able to deal with Sion. So, we got Samira, we got Pantheon, we got Kane. So, I see that Sion is ulting. Okay, you're not you're not doing anything, bro. It's not gonna happen. So just go back after him. Look at this! Just get on R. And chase him, right? At this point, our team is winning. So I'm not letting... I'm not letting Sion back, but he's dead anyways. Pretty good stuff. We're just pushing out waves, you know? Yeah, Summer gets a Quadra and the game is over. Game is over. GG. This ribbon... Once again, I'll just go with... Bubble the T. Is a monster at ribbon. She has 2 million uh, mastery points. And so, therefore, I am proud with how I played this game. I snowballed really well early game. This guy is 2 million dollars rich. I'll leave it at that. Thank you guys so much for watching. And I will see you guys. Ugh, I think I'm gonna sleep. And I will see you guys at the next one. Peace out, boys. Take care. I should start recording these videos, aren't I? Mm.